All right, I'm gonna be reviewing a Z724X made by Kubota. This is one of the several Z700 series that is a commercial grade mower that Kubota offers. Uh, Kubota offers several different mowers, um, ranging from the Commander series uh, up to um, their top of the line commercial mowers um, this one's kind of I'd say three quarters of the way in the middle of the mowers that they offer but this is the 700 series is a commercial grade mower uh, that Kubota offers I've had to mower about three months um, I've only got uh, about 18 and a half hours on it I'm gonna go over some features that I like um, about the mower and then I'll tell you some features that I don't like. Um, looking online and YouTube, YouTube's the kind of go-to source for individuals uh, wanting to upload or post videos of, of uh, items that they purchased. Uh, in this case, a zero-turn mower that I purchased. Uh, and there's just not many reviews on a Kubota mowers. You can find all kind of reviews on other types of mowers, but especially the, uh, the Kubota and the Z700 series. Uh, there's not too many reviews on, so I wanted to do one to kind of give everybody uh, a little bit more information um, on this exact mower. But the, uh, the first mower that the 700 series is is the Z723. Um, then it goes up to the Z724. You can get a Kohler or a Kawasaki engine on this mower. Uh, the X means that it has the Kawasaki and this mower has the FX730V, which is a tw uh, 23 and a half horsepower Kawasaki engine on it. Um, when I bought this mower, the only mower they had on the lot, <clears throat> they had several like this, but they all had the Kohler engine on them. I made the dealer order a brand new one from the, um, the warehouse that had the Kawasaki engine on it. I just prefer a Kawasaki engine. Out of all the zero turn mowers I've had before, um, I just prefer the Kawasaki over the Kohler. Uh, you may like Kohler uh, over the Kawasaki, and that's each person has their own opinion. I just like the Kawasaki engine. Uh, some features that I like about the mower <clears throat> is, as you can see, this thing, these 700 series mowers have a eight gauge steel deck. Um, you just about have to set a bomb off to tear it up. Um, if you run into anything, run over a, a stump or hit a or excuse me, run over a root or hit a stump or something, you don't have to worry about it bending the deck. Or Even the uh, reinforcements, um, the, the mechanism that the deck is supported by um, is real heavy duty. As you can see, it's not rinky-dink. Um, very heavy duty mower, I'm very pleased with that. The frame and the tubing on the frame, as you can see, is very heavy duty, it's not rinky-dink. Um, it's got a very high back um, ergonomic seat. It's very comfortable. Um, when I sit on the mower, I'm 6'1", pretty big guy. Um, I'm very comfortable on the mower. Uh, Kubota did a good job with this mower, the 700 series. Of, it's very low uh, to the ground. The center of the gravity is low. The, um, as you can see, it's kind of got a, if I can back up good, you can kind of see got a low stance um, which you can hug and hold uh, inclines pretty good um, I wouldn't suggest getting on something that you're not comfortable with but if you're comfortable operating a zero turn more you know your limits and what you can and can't do uh, but the the gas tank as you can see on this mower uh, part of it's right here um, here's your lever to lift the seat up I'll raise it up you can see the rest of the uh, the tank up under the seat. It's got a very large uh, tank on it. I believe it's 11 or 11 and a half gallon tank. It's very large uh, so you don't have to stop constantly and fill it up. <clears throat> um, one other thing that I like about this mower is it has Parker uh, integrated torque pack uh, GT14 transmissions on it. Get down here and see if we can see a little bit of them. Uh, they're very very large heavy duty compared to like a hydro gear or something like that. These are very, um, 
very large integrated transmissions that Kubota puts on this mower and I really like that. Sorry for the uh, sketchiness there of the video but it's got a very smooth uh, drive and ride to it um, compared to some other mowers that I've had with uh, hydro gear stuff on it I really like these Parker uh, transmissions. Uh, a couple things that I don't like about the mower these back tires on this mower are nine and a half inch wide this mower here has the 54 inch deck on the 60 inch deck models they put a uh, 12 inch wide tire on the rear which is uh gives you three or more inches of width on the rear um, I wish Kubota would have went ahead and put the uh, the 12 inch wide tire on the rear of this 724 model the 726 model comes in a 60 inch and um, it has the 12 inch tires on the rear. Um, but this one in the 725 does not and the 723 does not. Um, just operating it, it slides just a little more than I would like to um, if you're on a little bit of a hill. Just those extra three inches of uh, width on the rear tires would help a little bit. Also, um, the weight of this mower is pretty heavy, um, and I'm a pretty big guy. Also, uh, I believe that Kubota could have put just a little bit larger engine on this mower with the 60-inch mower, which is the 726. Um, it does come in, a, I believe, a 25-and-a-half um, Kawasaki. I'm not sure what the Kohler engine is, but um, I think on this mower, um, they could have put just a hair bigger engine on it. I hadn't had any problems with it just when you're cutting in higher grass or wet grass it does go a little you have to go a little slower so it doesn't bog down um, on your I've never had it stall the engine or get close to stalling the engine that you can just hear the RPMs uh, dropping down if you're going try to go a little faster so you just have to slow down and be be mindful of it uh, another thing I like is the front tires are no flat um, I've never had a mower with those on there before, so that's the first. Um, I like this easy access uh, panel here. You can just lift up, and you can see your uh, spindles. All the spindles are sealed on uh, on this deck and this series of mower. I like that. There are grease fittings on different points of this mower, but just not on the spindles. You don't have to worry about greasing those. Um, another thing I like, is the parking brake here uh -oh. <clears throat> when you uh, want to stop or whatever get off of it the mower does require you to put the parking brake on but it's very easy to operate you just push this lever and as if you can see there's another small lever over here to the right you just push, push both of them and it locks to unlock it you just push on the big lever and it unlocks it this is your deck lift here push it up and then this uh, lever here is your deck unlock. If you pull this lever back to the unlock button or the unlock position, it lets your deck lift up and down. But you have to flip the switch forward to the lock position to lock your deck um, in, a in the up position. Um, another thing that Kubota is good at doing is this uh, height adjustment knob, control, whatever you want to call it. You just um, set it to whatever you want to cut, and then you let your deck down, and it stops at that whatever height you have it set at. It's real easy to adjust. Um, over here on your right side of the mower, as you can see, your instrument cluster. It's got an electronic fuel gauge. The switch has to be on. Uh, sends a signal to the fuel gauge and tells you how much fuel you haven't left in your tank. Obviously, this is your PTO engage for your blades on your deck, your throttle, and your choke, your ignition switch here, and your hour meter there. Um, I hope this video was informative overall. I really do like the mower. Um, I'm very pleased with it. There's just a few things um, that I think Kubota could have done a little bit different. But if you're in the market for a commercial zero turn mower, um, I think you'd be very pleased with this mower. Um, I've had two grasshoppers, a Ferris, a couple of Hustlers, uh, and an X-Mark before. And 
I'm pretty sure I like this Kubota better than any of those other ones that I've had. Thanks for watching.